Okay, uh, right now I will try to draw a simple geometry, frame geometry. But uh, first of all, uh, I would like you to show uh, the axis, uh, structural axis uh, generator. Uh, so, because I think it's uh, pretty relevant uh, until you are working with a pretty orthogonal geometry. So, um, on the beginning, the position, the basic point of the net, um, of the axis system which we will be creating, number of repetition, let's type for example, uh, for example, five, and then the distance, for example, two. If I click add, he create the positions of this, um, uh, uh, the, the, the number of the labels, uh, uh, the numbers of the axis and the position of it. If I go to the Z, then um, I will create right now, for example, um, one axis uh, in the zero point. The second uh, will be, uh, for example, on the height of five meter, and the third in the uh, six, uh, seven, for example. So then, uh, if I go to X one more time, I will have uh, five divisions, and in Z I will have two divisions. If I click uh, Apply, you see that the um, uh, axis system has been created. And right now, why it's relevant? Because when I am drawing some geometry, you see that uh, it's very easy to follow this axis when I am drawing something. Uh, yeah, but uh, you see that many, time, uh, many times, especially when the geometry will be very complicated, uh, the object, the, the, when you will try to create a new bar, for example, then um, the cursor will be snapping to many uh, geometries, so uh, to many objects. So if I would like to somehow filter these uh, objects, I go to the snap settings, which are on the left, left, bottom, bottom uh, corner. And here I can see to which elements, uh, to which objects, uh, the family uh, objects uh, it can snap. Uh, I click known and I type only st uh, structural axis because here it's marked up without confirmation then I am just closing this. And now you see that it's snapping only to the um, axes and then I go uh, with drawing my geometry. I create one column, the second column on the um, the um, uh, other end, and then I am creating the uh, two beams uh, in between. Then I am creating small columns, and uh, yeah, this is my frame. Uh, right now, I see that this is uh, one uh, element. Sometimes it's effect which we want to have, but sometimes uh, we would like to have the control of the node here. And to do it, we have to split the geometry. Also, uh, it's the same like in the uh, bottom and the um, top uh, chord of the um, of this frame. So if I marked all of the geometry from the right right to the left, I will mark everything what is crossing or inside of the uh, marking rectangle. If I would like to mark uh, all the geometry from the left to the right, I, you see that it didn't catch the columns, so I have to mark all the all of the geometry inside of the marking rectangle. And then if I go to the edit and intersect, then you see that it create uh, uh, it, it just divides, split the geometry in every node. Okay, so we have the geometry. Uh, let's add there some uh, fixed uh, support. Right now everything will be fixed. Also the connections uh, by default are fixed. Uh, I create the that load. Um, yeah, I, I'm working on the example from the previous uh, uh, movie. So there was already two dead loads. I will stay to the only one, to the self-weight. And then I cl click uh, calculations. Uh, and he said that there is an instability of type two detected at node eight in the direction UZ. Uh, that's uh, 
you have to understand that there are two types of uh, this um, pop-outs uh, during the uh, calculations process. First of uh, them, it's just a warning, so we, so we can ignore it somehow. But um, and the process, we, uh, the, the the solver will calculate the structure anyway. And then if I uh, marked here, you see that he showed me which uh, nodes have this uh, problem. First of all, the instability in the UX direction, which means that uh, they can move to the right, uh, and here this can move to the UZ direction, that they can fly away to the... Um, to, uh, to the... in the vertical direction. So if I check the displacement, uh, I see yeah something wrong has happened because uh, my structure it's uh, flying away. So what can be the problem? First of all, I have to check if all of the nodes are exactly the nodes. Uh, if there are no duplicate nodes, uh, I am just checking uh, turn on the number of the uh, nodes, and if I see that there is only one number in the node, then it's okay. If it would be, for example, here two and uh, three, then I would know that uh, there is some duplicate slides. Uh, now I can go to the geometry and releases and see how they are def uh, defined. If I go for the uh, delete uh, bar releases and click uh, all, click apply. Yes, so then if I run calculation, uh, I still have this information which I have before. So this was not a problem in this case. Um, so what more can be a problem? If I go to geometry and structure type, and uh, right now I see that I was drawing it in the Trust 2D design, and by default, uh, Trust 2D design has all of the nodes, uh, all of the nodes, uh, all of the releases in the Trust 2D design are. Uh, are uh, by default with the rotational uh, freedom. So if I just change uh, the geometry type to the, tr uh, to the frame design, then if I go to the geometry and releases and go for the uh, delete bar releases and one more time, all and close uh, and run the calculation. You see that there is no problem at all, and the displacement, it's uh, perfect, it's like it should be. So if I, one more time, to assume what we just uh, have seen, uh, if we go to the geometry and structure type, this um, geometry type chooser defines uh, some of the overall principles of the um, of the modeling so from the beginning if you are using uh, for example trust to the design all of the connection will have uh, uh, rotational freedom so you will not be able to create a rectangle and even if you delete all of the releases it will still be the um, the the mechanism. 